So I'm really excited to review Ulanzi's Olock system. So the problem I have is that every time I wanna go out and film with my smartphone, cause let's face it, I don't wanna bring a secondary camera when I wanna film something spontaneously. I have to carry this. I have to remember to carry one of these guys and then obviously a tripod. And this is the thing that I really hate. This little device here, it's just very cumbersome to put on a phone. So first of all, I would have to do this. And then I have to grab my phone, put it in here and it might scratch my phone. It's just, it's just a very, I just don't like the process at all. It, it, to me, it's just, just way too much friction to mounting my phone. So I'm a big fan of magnets. I love magnets a lot. Just being able to use MagSafe and like just plop things on. So I'm really excited to test this out and give you my, like my short term, like my immediate impressions. And then later near the end of this video, I'm going to give you my full conclusion of what I think about this system. I've purchased Ulanzi's device, uh, systems before. So the Falcom F22, F38, and I absolutely love the system. It has changed the way I fundamentally film. I put it on my FX3, a little little adapter plate for the F22. I can, I, can, I can adapt all kinds of things. I just love the convenience of snapping on things and on and off. And that to me has been amazing. Having to twist things when you wanna put devices on tripods or remove it, it really slows down your process and it just kind of impedes the creative process of creating movies and filming content. So I'm really hoping that this system here is going to be like really seamless. First order of business is that we have to make our phone OLA compatible. And if you have an iPhone, you can get their case. But in, in, in my specific circumstances, I have the new S23. I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm gonna use the sticker, plop it on here. So they call it the phone magnetic sticker. Ulanzi always has really nice packaging. Like I'm always impressed. They like to go above. Okay, there we go. Plop it out. That's very nice unboxing experience just for a little sticker. Now these are not too expensive. You can see it has this, it's a very interesting design. Like I'm, I'm very curious about this. And we got the sticker on the back. Putting on the sticker can be a little bit tricky. What you gotta do is align it so that your Qi charging does not get interfered because that's, that's another thing I wanna test is, does this affect your Qi charge, your wireless charging on your phone? So we'll find out. So I'm gonna use this as a reference. I kind of messed up my O-snap. I, I kind of put it more to the off to the side or whatever. So it kind of needs to go. Now, obviously I'm not gonna put this on my phone, but I have to say it is quite thin. It looks very nice. I like that it's like a matte black. So one quick pause. When you're applying the magnetic sticker onto your case, make sure it's level. What you can see is there's gonna be kind of like a logo. You see how the logo is kind of tilted right now. You should make sure that it's level. And that's because when you attach it, and you want to have it kind of like stay right in the middle, perfectly vertic vertical or horizontal, it's going to be a little bit tilted. So you have to make sure that it's a little bit level. That's one mistake I made. Okay, so I think that's the best I can put it on. I think it's, as long as it doesn't interfere with the annoying camera bump, the telephoto lens. You can see that it's sticking on. Now, typically with any adhesive you put on, you don't want to have it be used for at least a couple hours because you want that adhesive bond to cure. Not using it will really strengthen the bond. It's kind of like when you use those adhesives on it, when you want to wall mount things and stuff like that. Another thing I want to mention with this sticker is when you place it on the ground, it's super steady. It's like, it, it just feels very solid. So it doesn't add that much more heft and it feels like sturdy. So kind of acts like a nice, as a nice grip too. You kind of put your finger in between here. I don't mind it for like an outdoor case. This is great. Super rugged. It's going to be really, really like solid, very rigid. All right. So let's move on to the next accessory. This one's really important. It's very versatile. It's the quick release to, to quarter inch screw hole. Again, they always have the fancy packaging. So let's pull it out like that. Boom. Comes out very nicely. Everything just looks so premium. Like there, when I, the F22, okay, wow, this is nice and hefty. So yeah, we can attach it to our tripod a little. So we don't need to use this anymore, thank goodness. It's one of the things I hate. Okay, so that's on. We have our tripod. Now it's a matter of sticking it. Wow, that was really cool. It just snaps in. So here's the tripod and you just pop it out like that. I'm gonna plop it in, clicks in. 
So there's one thing I want to clarify with the MagSafe compatibility is that you can't use the OLAC receiver on actual MagSafe, right? That's just obviously not going to work. You can see. However, you should be able to use your MagSafe accessory on this. So I have this MagSafe charger here, and this is for obviously for the phone. This is the Patika Easy Mag charger. It's a really good uh, charger. I, I did a full review on it. USB-C has a nice fan. Anyway, the whole point of this OLAC isn't to have to maintain compatibility with Qi wireless charging because it's really thick and it has to have certain di design decisions so that it has like a bigger frame, the locking mechanism, which I still think is magic to this day. It's obviously probably not going to work, but we're going to try it out. So first of all, we can test the magnet functionality and the magnet functionality is still really good. Let's say you have a receiver that's MagSafe to a quarter inch and they do exist. Uh, even Ulanzi sells that. You can use that. So it's widely compatible with other receivers for MagSafe, but it probably isn't gonna charge. So there you go, you got a nice lock in here, which honestly, that's actually very useful. Like I like that they maintain compatibility with MagSafe because most of the time I actually don't like using Qi wireless charger, I'll be honest with you. I find that using the cord in my in my car, especially when I wanna have Android Auto, you can't do that wirelessly, you can just plug it in. You charge your phone, it's much more battery efficient and it's also reduces the heat, which can affect your battery. So I'm not really missing the wireless charging. Yeah, so this is like my, outdoor case. I like to have a front cover because I'm a germaphobe and I prefer to not have to wash my screen all the time when I go out. So, okay, here's the phone. It doesn't add too much bulk, to be honest. It's uh, quite nice. It kind of matches the matte feeling. So this is nice and sturdy. Boom, in like that. And I can move this around like that and set up my tripod. Very cool. It's really secure in place. Now, the way it works is that there's these holes around the perimeter of this circle. And there's only, there's four like kind of locking balls. So that just, that just keeps it in place. And then you, I guess you have the magnet to guide it. So you just put it any way you want. That like, you know, honestly, like they come out with really cool just really cool stuff like the F22. I just had so much fun playing with that. Uh, this stuff is really nifty. Uh, okay, l let's let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the final one we have is the Z style st stand. So obviously this isn't the best tripod. I, I need to get one where it can go 90 degrees for it to work. Obviously you can see. So uh, we're gonna switch to a different type of tripod, but first let's do the Z stand. Again, as usual, very nice packaging. All right, so this feels solid already. So you're gonna open it up like that. There's a quite strong range of motion here. And I need to get this out. This is a little bit tough. Okay, so here you have your Arca Swiss. So you can, this is very nice because it's uh, widely compatible. Now you have your quarter inch threads over here so you can mount it on a, tr like a traditional tripod or anything like that. So there's lots of compatibility and obviously there's and there's a cheese grate of five of them, so that's really cool. It's made of a nice soft surface, so it's not gonna scratch anything if you keep it on a piece of wood or anything like that. So this is like a really solid stand. So let's take the phone, plop it in. Like that is cool. Oh my God. I didn't even know it did that. Like, oh my God, that is so cool. What the heck, what is this voodoo magic? Like, I totally forgot to show this feature on the other one. Okay, how's any, but yeah. Like, that is, that is freaking cool. Like, that is super duper cool. Swap it in, put your other one right here. This is a solid stand, like, wow. I would just use this for like kind of work or something. You have all the angles. This is like, just nice for viewing. So this is obviously going to be used for a, a filming scenario. I really like that it's an inbuilt tripod. So one of the things I hate carrying around is actually one of these tripods. Sometimes you just want to find something that's super compact and small. This is solid. Like it's not going to topple or anything like that. Maybe you want to switch to portrait mode really quickly, adjust the angle. Like this is a really, really well thought out product. So you can see, let's just do a quick demo one more time here. Top, bottom, you can move the angle like that. Move it up like here. Let's see how much. So yeah, it's gonna fall at that point. 
But I can imagine this is really helpful if you want to mount this on like overhead tripod. You can have something like this. Like there's so many, it's just all the flexing joints, it just makes it very, very nice. And it's just, just a joy to get that, that, that sound. And you take it off, plop it in. Like what's there not to like about this? This is hella cool. And, and putting it like this is a little bit more awkward, but it feels more natural. Sometimes you just want to go like this and then flop it into there. It just locks, it like locks at the perfect angle, like very level. Okay, this is really impressive. So I'm gonna take this out into the field. I'm gonna test it out, film some skateboarding and stuff like that. And I'll let you know my full review. So let's get on to that. So what do I think of Yulanzi's Olock system after using it for one month? Well, I have to say, this has been amazing for filming B-roll. I can go out, spontaneously shoot any kind of B-roll, which is very important for me to document my life. And let's say I wanna go skateboarding and stuff like that, I wanna film my friend, I have a tripod ready to go, it's already in my pocket. And that's of course using Olock's um, Z-style stand, which is just a really tiny little, little thing in your pocket that you can bring with you anywhere. So you basically have a little filming kit everywhere you go if you are adapting to the Olock system. Now, speaking of skateboarding or extreme sports, this is where this becomes really, really handy. Let's say I'm filming my friend and I'm following him on a line. He could hit the camera and it could simply just fall off. It's very, very easy for MagSafe to lose his connection. Whereas with the Olock system, it is super duper tight and very well put together. So check this out. So you can see the system snaps right in and then just pulling on, on that. The Olock is clipped in, definitely lock. That's what I mean, that's why it's called Olock. So that makes it so, so tight. So I really like that aspect of Olock system when compared to the MagSafe. It's just gonna stick. You're never gonna have any issue where, you know, someone bumps your camera, your smartphone, and it falls off and it cracks or whatever. Smartphone cameras have just gotten so good recently. There's like no reason to get a GoPro. You basically have an action cam with you, especially when you pair it with an Olock system. Another huge benefit of using the Olock system is finally getting rid of these phone clamps. These phone clamps are the bane of my existence. I absolutely hate them with a vengeance. They would always kind of just, they would be so cumbersome to put on. So if you're trying to film something really, really quickly, you can't just snap it on. And if, I wouldn't trust this even on a bike, if I'm doing Uber deliveries or I want to film someone, because. If you bump it just like the MagSafe, it could just simply slip and just pop out and eject out. In fact, I almost broke my phone in the past before. Uh, I'm gonna show you some footage of that. It's just so slippery, it can just come out, flip out. So these things are awful. Now this is a metal one, but generally speaking, you do get some free ones when you buy like tripods and they give you a plastic one. Those are really, really cheap. They can snap. Uh, plastic is just very prone to snapping. Whereas with the Olock system, this stuff is like made of like really good metal materials. They're not gonna break at all. This is like high, like this is like film grade material over here. It's super well engineered, very well, like the, the craftsmanship of it is super excellent. And yeah, I can just really depend on this even on like, let's say a very expensive camera, like my smartphone. Another huge bonus using Olog's magnetic sticker is that it's a magnet. So you can put this on any magnetic friendly surface, for example, right here, and you can film yourself you can put it over here if you want, for example. So sometimes the magnet can be really clutch when situations where you don't have a tripod. Another great benefit with the Olock system is that it maintains compatibility with the MagSafe system. So you can snap it on like that. Right now I have my MagSafe wallet. You can use your MagSafe charger. Now, obviously, like I said before, not all Qi wireless chargers are going to work with the, with the bigger magnet over here, but some of them will work. So your mileage may vary. So you might be wondering, why don't I just use, let's say a MagSafe receiver on say, for example, a tripod, why do I have to use the Olac system? Well, check this out. If I'm gonna plop this on right here, it's, let's say I didn't get the angle correct, it's very hard to twist it. In fact, when I'm twisting it, the magnet is so strong that it's making the, the actual tripod fall come off. So it's just not very convenient if you want to, you know, switch it between vertical, see I'm here, I'm struggling right now. It's not very convenient if you wanna switch it between vertical or portrait mode. You have to twist it really hard, it's just, the magnet's so strong, so. So the superior option is using the O-lock system. So you click it in here, and let's say you didn't get it right, you can just easily find the perfect angle that you want. So I really regret investing in this MagSafe receiver, this quarter inch adapter. Another thing I don't particularly like about this MagSafe uh, two quarter inch adapter is that it's extremely heavy. Like this is very, very top heavy, and we have a phone that's relatively light, and this takes up almost like a quarter of the phone's weight. It just really affects the balance of, let's say, a small, small tripod. Another great reason to invest in Yulanzi's Olock system is their commitment to continuously expanding their range of accessories. They've been releasing a bunch of new innovative products 
for the OLOC system, making the system even more versatile and adaptable to various needs and use cases. Yulanzi's dedication to growth and improvement shows that they are truly invested in their user base. This means that you can confidently invest in their OLOC system, knowing that it will keep evolving to match your demands. So to wrap up this video, who do I recommend the OLOC system for? Well, if you experience Yulanzi's F22 or F38 Falcom system, you're going to love the OLOC system for your smartphone. It's just a natural transition from your big camera, mirrorless camera gear, to all the way to your smartphone. So you're going to be very familiar with all the conveniences and the high quality craftsmanship that you typically get from Yulanzi. But for people who are want to just smart, you know, film with their smartphone or they, want, they use their smartphone in a critical application like Uber deliveries or they're on a scooter or something like that, this is also another nice application. So just spontaneous filming. Filmers that are on the go who have a very minimalist setup just want to film with their great smartphone cameras. That This is a great system that you should invest in. Also, obviously, like I said, the Uber deliveries, anyone who rides their bike or a scooter and needs that like really fast application, but also needs something very secure because they can't be riding down the street and then someone knocks them over and then their phone goes flying or something like that. So those are the people that I think should really look into the OLOC system. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comments section down below. I'll leave links to these products in the description of this video and I'll see you in the next video.